up guys, my identical twin. This is our life. I don't know what it is, man. Y'all know what's about to happen right now. Yup. Yup. I'm about to eat my oatmeal. And then I will show you guys the workout for today. Alright you guys, I just finished cold. I'm about to go do my cardio workout. It's a little cold outside today. It just snowed yesterday, so but the but the way the wind is outside, I don't know if it's like too windy. Um, but it could be anywhere from like 20 to like like maybe low 30s. I'm about to go get this workout in. I'll bring you guys with me and show you guys what I do on my Monday routine. Alright you guys, it's a little cold outside, a little chilly. Put a beanie on some gloves. I know it's pretty sunny, but the wind makes it feel like it's like so I gotta warm up. I was gonna go to the field and, warm, and do uh, some track stuff. Um, can't really do that because the, the field right now is all kind of snow, especially the track. Um, it's just Monday. It's just speed day. I'm kind of getting the, the muscles going and stuff. Um, nothing too crazy. I'll do about eight eight speed reps. Probably about a couple twenties to warm up after I get a good warm up in. Um, about a, I'm about to do like a little jog for about like about a minute or two. I get my muscles warming. Then I'm about to do my dynamic warm up. Um, so we'll get into that to you guys, and then you'll see then, so. Alright guys, I just finished my, my warm up. I'm about to do a little bit of Excel work. Probably do about like four. Then I'm about to get into my workout. I'm sorry guys, it's like super windy out here. I don't know why, but every time I record outside, it tends to be stupid windy. I apologize you guys for that. I'm warm up, make sure I don't pull nothing because it's a little cold outside. So warm up a little bit and then we'll get to the workout. Hey guys, so I just finished warming up right now. I'm about to get into this workout real quick. I know it's kind of windy. I'm about to do about six by 50 meter sprints. I'll start like right on the sign right here. But pretty much where that street, that street sign is. Probably be sprinting right to there. But I'll sprint up and then I'll walk back, get a little bit of recovery in. And that will do it for today's workout. And then I'll do about a 15 minute run afterwards. Alrighty guys, so I just got back from doing my 60s. It definitely wasn't like hard. Um, it was a good workout and the 15 minute run afterwards definitely a little bit tougher. Um, just because it was just kind of hard to run because there's still kind of some snow on the road. But other than that, it was a pretty good run. I'm um, average around like 7.30, a minute a mile. Ran about two miles, so about in 15 minutes. Let's get into the weightlifting workout today, guys, and I'll show you guys what I do. Special guest today right here. Show your face, Tony. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so Tony's working out with me today. I'm about to go through an old body workout, so let's get into it.
All right, y'all, so me and Tony just finished the first set of our workout. Bench press, or speed bench press, with cable flies and some... Uh, bridges. Bridges, there you go, thank you, Tony. I know Tony's there, I'm sweating over here, bro. This is a hard workout. There's some other stuff you guys can do if you want to alternate that workout at home with other supplies, but now we're gonna get into shoulder press and then uh, front raises, so let's get into it. All right, usually I like to step on the band, making sure it's like right directly in the middle underneath my foot. And then I like to put the bands on top of it, uh, just so. That way when you flip it up, it's like this. You still have a, a good center on it. And it's like right between your shoulders. Let's press here over the head. Make sure you get the full extension and come back down. And then here. The whole point is just try to get it up fast, but then when you get come down slow, so you'll feel the eccentric part. <sighs> All right, you guys, so now single rows with a three count. You, as soon as you come up, it's here. One, two, three, slow, let down. You're gonna come up, arm about 40 total, and then it's push-ups till you fail. That's the catch, so you even need, like, you could use a water bottle if you want. Use any type of just item to hold in your hand that you can hold, and just really just come up and just squeeze it, and then just let it come down slow. Just start to feel the burn after a while. And then after that, just try to do as many push-ups as you can, whether that's Push-ups on your knees, whether that's push-ups on something or push-ups off something. About to get into this workout, let's get it. The next thing is med ball twist. On med ball. You are dead. Yeah, bro. You are dying. I'm dying right now. <laughs> Jesus, dying. I don't have med ball, so I'm just gonna use my weight and it's just gonna do like twist. So just touch here, here, and after that. We'll lay back after you do a little core and you squeeze both of these plates together like you're praying like this. Come down slow and then up. Make sure that your elbow is coming down as close as it can to the body. So you feel that in your triceps. This is the last part of the training, just to get the rest of the triceps. I mean, not that we haven't worked them already, we worked them a lot. <laughs> but so this single arm pull down, so here, and then just pause, like one second pause, and just controlling it on the way up. Added a band up the resistance. Go, go on hard. Look how cut that shoulder is. My goodness. He's only at 13%. Wait till he gets to 10, bro. He's gonna be crazy. <laughs> oh, he's shit. It's gonna be crazy. Ah! <laughs> Come on, Super Saiyan. Alright y'all, this is it for me. Tone, tone over here flexing. This is it for our workout today. Get back to you guys in a bit. This is my my food for the day. It's um shredded chicken with broccoli. You guys, I eat pretty clean, especially with the way you train. I mean, what you put in your body. It, the way I explain it to people is like you know, like a car, right? You put bad gas in your car, car's gonna run like shit. You know what I mean? So. You gotta put good stuff in your body if you want your body to respond. Well, having a really more pure protein meat and then having good vegetables, having any type of really good vegetable for you is really gonna help. And then really hydrating and drinking uh, something with this is, is, is even more better. So I'm about to eat this and then I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. All right, you guys, so now I have little snack for the night. Oh, I have my kiwis. Super good super fruit to have in your day. Um, can help you with inflammation, antioxidants, and so many other things. Apple, same thing. The fruit is just really good for you to cover your diet. Just a little meal, a little bit of carbs in it, um, some multivitamins, and then some protein. So really good way to help your body out and help it respond well. So y'all yeah, might think this is crazy, but I do it for you guys, the subscribers. No bread, no cheese. No lettuce, tomatoes, just meat, man. 
Yeah, man, man, this shit's good, though. It's good. No, I'm messing with y'all. <laughs> the best actually by itself is actually not that bad. Personally, I mean, it could be worse. You guys probably ask me, you know, do you eat sweets? Oh, well, yeah. But just like everything I told you guys, it's all about moderation, right? The biggest thing, guys, you can have sweets in your diet. Like, I don't eat. 10 cookies, you know, a day. And it's actually kind of funny, but um, during my training throughout the week, I don't eat any sweets. A lot of my meals are so high in protein, pretty, pretty good in fiber that I feel pretty full. I feel like it's really important for you guys to know that you guys can have, you know, certain things in your diet. If you want some Cheez-Its or want some popcorn, or if you want some chips and stuff, you know, you can still have some of that as long as, you know, it's just one serving size and that's it for the day. You know, usually during my training week when I'm training pretty hard, I really don't like to have sweets because I put in a lot of hard work. I don't like, it's kind of like a discipline thing for myself, right? So. Like my thing is like, so I'll work hard, really hard during the week and then I'll enjoy like a treat over the weekend, right? It's just kind of something that keeps my mind focused on the weekend. I'm mean, working hard throughout the week so that I can, I can get my reward, right? Which is like my sweet and like certain portions, not like super crazy, like a whole package of cookies, you know, or something. But you can have like ice cream and all this other stuff, but it's just like moderation, right? So like having a one serving size or half a serving size, right? And that's it, you know, you have to cut yourself off, which is kind of hard. My shred series is pretty, it's pretty hard. The training I do, pretty hard on my body. But you know, I'm, I'm able to do it and I want to show you guys that you can do it and transform your body in about 30 days or even two months, three months, who knows? It's gonna be it for today, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Most likely towards the end of the night, Make sure that I'll hydrate because um, hydrating is super important. So hydrate and then I'll uh, make sure I use my uh, my gun to hammer out my legs and stuff from training today. Definitely get that started. But thank you guys for watching. Please guys subscribe, like the video, comment down below what you guys want to see or what you guys want to know. See you guys next time.